Good morning, Pope Francis. Please stand for prayer and pledge to the flag. I now invite up Father John for prayer. Good morning, Pope Francis. And just a reminder this morning that there will be a period of adoration during your first period class, and I will be available for confession during lunch. We begin this day in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And during the month of November, the church invites us to reflect upon the resurrection of Jesus Christ, and we get to pray for our beloved dead, those souls who have gone before us and that await the kingdom of God. Praying for the dead. The church, above all, contemplates the mystery of the resurrection of Jesus Christ to obtain salvation and eternal life for us through his cross. To believe in the resurrection is to recognize that there is a final end and an ultimate goal for all human life, which satisfies man's appetite that nothing else is left for him to desire. Joined to the merits of the saints, our fraternal prayer comes to the aid of those who await the beatific vision, that is, the vision of God forever in heaven. Our intercession for the dead, just as the life of those living according to our commandments, obtains the merits that serve full attainment of our salvation. Our praying for the dead is an expression of our charity as the one family of God. Contemplation of the lives of those who follow Christ encourages us to lead good and upright Christian lives so that we can prepare ourselves each day for eternal life. So mindful of those who have gone before us in faith that await the kingdom of God, let us pray. Kindly listen to our prayers, O Lord, and as our faith in your Son raised from the dead is deeper, so may our hope of resurrection for your departed servants also find new strength. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please face the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated for announcements. I am Aidan O'Neill, and these are your Pope Prep News and Announcements. Today is Tuesday, November 14th, and it is National Pickle Day. On November 14th, National Pickle Day recognizes this tart, sometimes sweet, and even spicy pickle. Each year on November 14th, pickle lovers pop open a jar of their favorite preserved pickle. The term pickle comes from the Dutch word pickle, meaning brine. In the United States, the word pickle typically refers to a pickled cucumber. However, just about any fruit or vegetable can be pickled. Students are reminded that outerwear is not to be worn in the building, even if it has a PF logo. The only dress code outerwear are the black places. Please store your coats in your side lockers. With the growing number of students becoming ill, we have decided it would be best to postpone the NHS induction ceremony. Having a number of students, faculty, and parents in the theater so close to the holiday might put individuals at greater risk for illness. We will let everyone know as soon as possible when the induction will take place. Until then, stay safe and healthy. Ms. Valera will be holding concussion testing for winter sports on Thursday, November 16th at 2.15 in a room to be determined. If student athletes need to take their concussion tests, they can do it with her. They are just required to bring their computers. This must be completed by any freshmen, juniors, or transfers. If anyone has individual questions, they should contact Ms. Blair by email or stop by after school. There will be a youth group meeting today. Stop by if you want to learn about God and have a couple of snacks along the way. The Tactile Alphabet Project Team will meet this Thursday, November 16th, from 2.15 to 3.15 in the Makerspace. Please let Mrs. Slaviak know if you cannot attend. The Rubik's Cube Club will meet on Thursday right after school in room 315. All are welcome. Our news from the sports desk. Attention all girls, JV soccer players. Your coach will be here today to collect your uniforms. You should meet him in the lobby outside the gym right after school. There will be a meeting for our, all girls interested in playing basketball this week. Today, at, right after school in the gym. Attention all bowlers, there will be a meeting at 2.15 today in the video editing room for anyone who might be interested in participating on a school 10 pin bowling team. If you cannot attend the meeting or have any questions, please contact Mr. Jeffrey via email or in the video editing room. Today's schedule is CDAB with A period lunch. That's all, folks, Francis. Have a great day.